Hi, I'm Dustin. And I'm Dylan. Welcome to the Country Scroller. This episode is of a line, as you can tell from the title, and uh, we hope you enjoy it. It was a request from my stepsister, Jessica, so uh, this is for you, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Alrighty, the line that we're making is going to look like that, and uh, instead of the backer being brown, the actual piece on top will be brown, and then the backer will just be the birch. So now to get started. We have our piece of wood, and uh, the grain direction don't matter because it will be um, painted brown, but we're still going to put it vertically. Masking tape, again, that helps peel up the pattern easier. Okay, now that we got the masking tape on there, we're going to apply the pattern. Okay, we got the pattern on there now for uh, some clear box tape. Again, that helps lubricate the blade so the blade doesn't burn through the cut and it helps uh, keep the pattern down. Okay, you got the clear box tape on there. Now I'm going to drill the holes and I'll be right back with you. Okay, as you can see, we got all of our holes drilled. Now over to the scroll saw to cut it out. Now to start cutting. Now I'm going to skip to the last couple cuts. See you here in a sec. Alrighty, we're back here. It is all cut out. Sorry about that I didn't finish up the cuts with you because I forgot to turn the camera on. But um, we're back here. It's all cut out and you got the gist of cutting out that. But uh, now I'm going to show you how to stack cut. Okay, real quick here I just want to say uh, I had the camera on and in position cutting out these last three cuts up here. But uh, I forgot to click the record button, so again, I apologize, didn't get to see the last couple cuts, but like I said, you got the gist of cutting it all out, and uh, just the couple cuts I did record. But now we're going to um, do the stack cutting. I uh, cut out a piece the exact same size as this rectangle here. We're going to do the same thing by putting a clear box tape on it, drive a couple nails in the area that uh, won't be cut out, and that will ensure it stays on together. And uh, then we're going to just cut out along the, uh, here I'll show you. I'm going to cut out along the outer edge of that. Now I'll ensure that both pieces are exact same. And then uh, we'll be over to the work table to uh, show you that. Okay, I'll show you what I've done. I just put on a lot of tape going both directions. So I felt that there's no need to uh, put on the nails. 
I uh, drilled a hole to cut out the outside of it so if I enter from uh, the end of the board this all break away when I'm cutting around here and uh, it won't all stay together so cutting that all in uh, inside of this will be easier than starting from outside to end so uh, over to the scroll saw now to start cutting it out okay now start cutting it out Now over to the work table. Over here at the work table. Now what we can do is just lift this up and out of it. And what we got is two identical pieces. And uh, that's the backer. And I'll just peel up the pattern. Be very careful in doing this because of the uh, each little piece going out isn't very sturdy so we'll go ahead and peel up this pattern I'll be right back with you already I finally got the pattern off now to uh, sand and we'll uh, paint this brown okay using this craftsman quarter sheet sander I'm gonna be using 220 grit and uh, being very careful because of these little pieces I don't want to accidentally hit one and it breaks off so uh, being careful here <laughs> Now using this Krylon Brown. I'll make sure I get all the uh, interior pieces of it good and uh, good coat on it. I can flip this around and make it easier and that should be good now we're going to let that dry and we'll be right back with you to uh, glue up.